Now in this particular video we are going to learn about host command okay so basically this command is used for the DNS lookup it basically means you are going to find information about the DNS servers as well the IP addresses of a domain name or uh, or domain name with IP address you can say so but before moving forward in this particular video you should know the basics of a domain name server okay so this is a basically one of the networking concept in which uh, we will learn okay the following topics like actually I have written already one blog on DNS so you can go and learn from this infosec write-ups and uh, if you will search for all about DNS 100 days of hacking you will get it let me search it for you infosec write-ups okay so this is the first one write-up by Ayush Verma okay you can get it from here so uh, let me tell you the basic idea of what is this domain name server and all these things so basically DNS stands for domain name server okay it means the whatever the your google.com it is a domain name it will get converted into the IP address or vice versa or IP address will get converted into the domain name so with the main reason behind this is domain name server is why this domain name server came in a role okay so just think like a normal human if you uh, you are given a one address like 192.168.42.35 whether uh, this is easily remember easy to remember or google.com is easy to remember okay just think once so obviously you will say like sir google.com is easy to remember that's why that is the main reason behind this of dns that's why it came in a role so uh, we will see the basically working of how it basically works uh, let me move down as here you can see the i have written like in more explanation i have given here you can learn it and also how it works i will tell you and this is the domain hierarchy like uh, root level domain top level domain second level domain like dot com dot government dot uh, mil these are the root level domains okay and try hack me google usa subdomains okay so you can learn all about these things and now let's move forward to the working of uh, this dns okay so whenever user types in web address this particular domain name what happens in this case it will first do the DNS query from where DNS resolver okay DNS resolver is also one of the part of this particular process where some records are stored now next what will happen it will send the request to this root server whether if the domain name end with dot com or dot anything then it will move to the root server it will ask for do you have this uh, IP address of this particular domain if it will say yes then it will forward the request then again in fourth step it will go with the TLD server and again with authoritative name server and after that it will go to the main server of that particular website after getting the IP address okay so this is the overall working of this domain name server and now we will talk about the what are the records in DNS okay so basically DNS records provide the information about the particular domain so I will like go down and uh, let me tell you the records okay so these are the basically some of the records like A records this uh, four A records MX records CNAME record you can learn about these all things like A records provide us the IPv4 addresses and uh, AAA and also one more A that is a 4A record provide us the IPv6 address MX records provide us the like mail exchange address CNAME record is also provides like uh, like it points the subdomain to the main domain basically if there is a uh, gmail.google.com or google.com both will point to the only single domain or it's not domain single IP addresses okay now moving this is the name server record that is NS records okay and txt record is some kind of record that uh, admin stored some kind of text and all these things okay now let's move to the our main motive of this particular video that is the host command okay so i hope you got to learn about all those things about dns records i hope it is visible to you let me just increase the size first so that it will be easy to it will be easily visible okay so now let's enter the host and just provide the google.com 
Okay, oh, wait a minute. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, I'm getting some kind of error. Okay, host google.com. Okay, google.com not found. Why like this? Host. Okay, it's working. Okay, let me provide another IP ad, uh, another domain name like uh, let me provide uh, Gmail. Not dot co yeah. dot com. Who's Gmail dot com not found? Okay, why this is happening? I'm not getting. Let me do first ping whether it's working or not. Okay, temporary failure in name resolution. Let me ping another some domain name that is a uh, which domain name should I? Let me check here medium.com. Let me do medium.com. Why it's happening? I'm not getting. Uh, let me uh, restart my this Ubuntu machine so that after it may be uh, work. Let me do. Okay, now I have started restarting my PC. Uh, let me now perform the that command. Okay, so I hope it is visible to you. Uh, let's do host google.com. Okay, so here you can see the address of google.com. That is a uh, that is the IPv4 address. What does IPv4 address mean? It means that it is a like a 32 bit address, I guess. Okay, if I'm not wrong, uh, let me check. Uh, why to create confusion for you guys okay ip address bit size okay i hope it is 32 yeah i was correct okay it's 32 bit address it ranges from 0 to 20 0 to 255 okay so here you can see the ip addresses of google.com that is 172.217.27.206 and again with uh, with same like you will get this ipv6 addresses that is this is the like version 6 addresses of google.com and the mail server address that is SMTP. Now what will happen if you will uh, think about the concept of DNS what is happening here is uh, when you are entering google.com so that domain is mapped with this particular IP address this one. Uh, let me copy this IP address and uh, let me put it here what will happen whether it will go on to the google.com or not let's check okay damn so here you can see that uh, that IP address is mapped to the google.com that's why uh, like uh, we are going on this particular domain name what will happen if I will, re I will just change it dot 206 to 205 whether it will go to the same or different let's check Okay, it's going to the same because that whole IP address may be belonging to that particular google.com. Let me do 200. Okay, it's same. Okay, so now uh, let's go for some uh, another domain also. Host, uh, let's go with medium.com. Like sometimes it happens like uh, you can't go uh, on a particular. Okay, I press something like print. Okay. When sometimes what happens when you enter the uh, IP address of some of the domain name, then at that time you will not be able to reach that particular domain because of uh, firewall implementation and all. So here also you can see different IP addresses, mail servers. Okay, so let me check this one. One five three dot four. Okay. Let's check whether it goes or not. Okay, so yeah, here you can see the direct IP address not allowed. Why? Because I think they are using Cloudflare. Cloudflare they are using, yes. Your IP here, I will get my IP address. Okay. So sometimes it doesn't uh, allow. Okay. Now moving forward uh, in this particular video with the getting the DNS records of a particular domain name. Okay. 
so how you can get it like uh, using hyphen t option we can get and also if you want to get only the ipv6 address you can get if it is available so here you can see connection is refused now let's check with the cnm record okay so if you don't know about cnm record you can go here and learn about it on this particular blog okay what is cnm record these records forward one domain and subdomain to another domain for example you can see blog.example.com has a cnm record with a value of example.com this means whenever dns record hits the dns record for blog.example it actually triggers another dns lookup to which domain that is the example domain and it basically returns the ip of the same that is main domain in the example.com domain okay so uh, let's do the dns lookup for this particular record that is which one cname record so the command is very simple host hyphen t cname and you have to just write any domain name which you want let's do with google.com okay it has no any record uh maybe it will be for medium let's check okay no records oh uh, any website uh, okay let me search for random colleges in delhi if i get any college website now uh, let's go with the siksha.com copy it and just paste it here okay so here we are getting the okay not found okay okay so these sites are not having any cm record let's go with some another record uh let me check with uh, mx record that is a mail action it should be there yeah it has mx record let's go for uh google medium.com yeah they are using mx record okay and let's check for another record that is a txt record okay we are getting it here all those records uh let's check for okay another website that is siksha hyphen txt record okay we are getting all those information whatever the text is stored in this particular text file in the dns records okay so i hope uh, you like this particular video and uh, today we will stop here and the next video we will learn about something new okay so that's all for today's video and if you have any query then please ask us in the comment section so thank you thank you for watching and we'll meet in the next video thank you